are here. Wow, I am absolutely blown away. Before we get into this Q&A, I just wanted to take a moment and thank everyone who's subscribed to my channel. I'm almost to 600 subscribers, if you can believe it, but I wanted to make a 500 subscriber special just to show you guys how grateful I am for you guys and everything that you do, sharing my videos, liking, subscribing, com all your comments. I am just, I'm so grateful and I'm so glad you're along with this journey because I've got some exciting stuff coming up in the next couple months. I have Wrestlemania where I'm meeting Dean and oh my gosh, I'm going to unbox my Wrestlemania package for you guys once it gets in the mail. But I just wanted to get all that stuff out of the way and now we're going to move into the Q&A. The way this is going to work guys, I'm just going to go down the list of what you guys left me under my pinned tweet on my Twitter and if you're not following me on my Twitter, I will leave that in the description below. However, I'm going to go in order of which the replies are on my tweet and I will put everyone's usernames in the description box as well. And if you're watching this, please go follow everyone down in the description. These guys make my channel so much better and I wouldn't have been able to do this video without the questions that I got. So let's jump right in. First question is, if you could spend all day with Dean Ambrose, what would you do? And oh my gosh. I would, there's so much I would want to do. I think it would just be cool to like spend a day in Cincinnati with them and just kind of like talk about wrestling all day, learn a bunch of stuff about the wrestling business. Question number two is if I could spend all day with AJ Lee, what would I do? Go to a comic book store, get some coffee, eat some donuts, pizza, just play video games all day, I think. Like watch Sailor Moon, I'm into that. I'm, I'm down for whatever, AJ. The next question I got is, should blood be allowed in WWE, especially in matches like the Elimination Chamber? And I am a huge, huge fan of the hardcore and blood matches. So yes, I would love, love to see this make a comeback. I think it would add a whole new element to WWE. I think it would bring in more of that CZW kind of crowd and draw more people to the product. So yes, I think they should, but they're probably not going to. All right, moving on. The next question I have is, who do you think deserves to be in the Hall of Fame? I can only pick one male and one female. And I know a lot of people are probably gonna be like, oh, she's gonna pick Dean Ambrose. No, no, I'm not. I actually think, even though Chris Benoit did a shitty thing, as far as his wrestling career goes, I would put Chris Benoit in the Hall of Fame easily. I think he deserves that recognition for all the hard work he did in his time in the wrestling business. If I could pick one female, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna jump on board with what everyone else wants and I'm really, really wanting China to be in the Hall of Fame. She did a lot of stuff to trailblaze for women that are in the company currently and I think time to move past all of the stuff that just troubled China's life and really just acknowledge and thank her for all she did in the WWE and WWF. If you can let Hulk Hogan back in the Hall of Fame, you can definitely let China in. What are my plans for Mania Weekend is the next question. So I am so, so, so excited. I've been getting a lot of stuff down as far as like my itinerary and a couple weeks ago I bought my Dean Ambrose VIP access ticket so I'm gonna be meeting him and Oh, I still have so many emotions. I, uh, I'm gonna be like that till I meet him. So contact it for Saturday. So if you're gonna be there, please come say hi to me. I'm gonna be doing vlogging. We be vlogging all weekend. So if you wanna get my video, I will give you a shout out. Feel free to come up to me and say hi and we can get in a video. All right, moving into the next question. Who do I want to win the women's, the first ever women's tag team titles? Wow. Like, I'm actually really excited. I'm looking forward to the Elimination Chamber and to see what all these women can bring to the table. Um, I think my top picks would be uh, Bailey and Sasha, and that's pretty kind of common, I think. They would do actually really good together as a tag team. All right, next question. What match got me into wrestling? Um, it's been kind of a long journey as far as me being a wrestling fan and all that. But the first ever match I saw was in 2001. It was December 3rd, to be exact. Not that I'm counting or anything. Um, it was, the main event was Stone Cold Steve Austin versus Chris Jericho on, in WWF. And 
both of their characters just instantly got me hooked. And Chris Jericho to this day is still my favorite. I'm excited to see what he can do in AEW. All right, next question. Should WWE bring back WCW? I'm going to say no. Uh, ECW is way better. All right, moving on. So, if I could stone cold stunner someone in my life, who would it be? Brock Lesnar. How much could, could a woodchuck chuck, if a could chuck, woodchuck, wood, I think I said that right. Um, and you're asking for a friend. Should probably Google it. I'm not good with that kind of stuff. Uh, I get this question quite frequently ever since it came out. Um, do I think the Ambrose thing is a work? Now, part of me wants to say no, and part of me wants to say yes. Part of me wants to say no because you can obviously see in his face every week that, at least from my opinion, that he's not enjoying this heel character. I think done a much better job booking him. Um, He's great as a heel if you ever go watch his John Moxley stuff, which, I mean, I do Moxley Mondays on this channel, so I'll leave that down below too. And you can go check out his heel stuff, because it's fantastic. But anyway, his heel stuff is fantastic if you go watch the indie stuff, and I just think WWE wasted his heel turn. He was gone for eight months, and they brought him back, and I was really excited because he looked like a heel, it felt like a heel, and then I just feel like they kind of dropped the ball on it. Not, nothing against Dean. He does a good job. He delivers every week. He shows up, unlike some people. Um, and regardless of what happens, I'm going to be an Ambrose fan or Moxley fan till the day I die. <laughs> Not to sound weird or anything. Um, it's one of, he's one of my all-time favorites. So regardless of what happens, if he stays in WWE or if he leaves and goes to another company, I'm going to support him no matter what. All right. Next question is my thoughts on the climate of WWE and the current champions. Well, we don't have a universal champion, so it's kind of hard for me to give my opinion on that because a normal champion would show up every week. So, I don't know. We don't have a universal champion, so as long as it's anyone that'll hold the title and actually show up every week, I'm wrong. I'm calling you out, Brock. I'm calling you out. Um, anyway, um, I'm not too happy with Bobby Lashley and Leo Rush as, like, the center of the IC title. Because, A, Leo Rush is fucking annoying. I'm just gonna say that right now. Leo Rush is annoying. I can't stand him. Bobby Lashley is about as boring as Brock Lesnar. But, you know, Bobby Lashley at least shows up. Um, if I could change the IC title, I would either give it back to Seth even though I'd like to see him keep go this going in the main card, in the main championship match. I'd really like to keep him in that force. Uh, I think Dean would do a good job. Finn Balor, Kevin Owens when he comes back, Sami Zayn when he comes back. There's just, there's a lot of talent that WWE's not using, and it kind of frustrates me, not just because with Dean, like, with guys like Finn and you look back at their NXT career and how well they did down there and then you compare it to their main roster time and it's just, it's frustrating to me and I feel like if I was in that situation I'd be frustrated as well. So that's kind of how I would book the IC title along those lines. Or how I would book the IC title. Um, women's, I, I, I really don't hate Ronda, honestly. Uh, these there's a lot of people I see on my Twitter timeline and all that that are like, oh, Rhonda sucks and blah, blah, blah. You guys, I understand she's not the best. I, I get it. I get it. She, she's come a long way from when she started. I'm going to give her that. I'm not saying she's, like, the best champion in the world, you know. However, she's leaving after WrestleMania 35. She's going to start a family. We only have to put up with this for a couple more months. We can do it, guys. It is okay. With that being said, if Becky is switching over to Raw, give her the title. Please. I am begging you. Um, I'm actually not mad that Charlotte was added to the match. I kind of saw it coming from a mile away because it's WWE. Um, 
but I think Charlotte adds a new element to the match and I've never been one to complain about Charlotte's matches. She does a good job. She goes above and beyond. Her work ethic's incredible. So I'm not taking anything away from I think Asuka is, I'm, I'm really happy with Asuka and how she's doing a SmackDown Live Women's Champion. I would just give her some new competitors to be with besides like Becky and Carmella um, or Charlotte. I think if you put Nikki Cross, I know Nikki Cross is on Raw, but Nikki Cross would do well on SmackDown. You have Naomi. Um, people are going to hate me for saying it, but Mandy, Mandy's not that bad. I'd rather watch her than Eva any day, any day. Um, Sonya Deville would be good. If they switched Ember Moon over to SmackDown. I just, I just feel like, again, this is kind of repetitive, but I feel like WWE wastes a bunch of talent as far as that goes. So I just think what WWE needs to do is mix it up a little bit. So the next question I got was if Dean's, if the whole thing with Dean leaving is not a work, where do I see him going as far as other wrestling companies? I see him going a couple places. AEW would be one of them. I could see him going back to a couple of, um, a couple of indie shows as far as like uh, CDW. I could see that. Uh, Ring of Honor possibly. He's never really done much work with them, and I think he would do really good there too. Uh, but the possibilities for Ambrose are endless. I feel like no matter where he goes. If he leaves, he'll do great. He has the ability and talent to succeed in any company he so chooses. If I could pick any two women from any era in WWE to face off in the main event of WrestleMania, who would I pick? And I really like this question. Um, it was really hard for me to narrow it down. So I'm going to do two. I would do AJ Lee versus Alexa. If I could go back, if I could pick two legends to face off in the main event of WrestleMania for women, I would pick Beth Phoenix versus China. This is a common question asked in my pinned tweet. What is my WrestleMania dream match? I, you guys are killing me with these questions. Um, it's just, there's so many superstars. There's so many dream matches that I think we all would have loved to see at some point. Seth Rollins versus Shawn Michaels in his prime would have been cool. AJ Lee versus Lita would have been a cool one. Those are a couple of them. I really, if I sat here and listed all of them, we'd be here for a good half an hour. So we're gonna slide right on into the next question. So we're gonna transition into a non-wrestling question. And the question is, what is, it's actually a two part question. The first part is, what is my favorite workout song? Now I have a playlist that it's on my Spotify. You can go follow me. I will leave that down as well below as well because I don't know the name off the top of my head. I like death tones, um, even like throwbacks like My Chemical Romance, Panic at the Disco, um, A Day to Remember, uh, Treyu, a lot of those. Um, I'm, I, I'm a huge metal, metal fan so that's mostly what's on my playlist. Again, my Spotify is down below if you want to go follow me on that, feel free to do so. The second part to that question was, what is my favorite post-workout meal? Now this is my go-to every time I'm done with a heavy weight training session. I'm, uh, I'm getting hungry just thinking about it now. Um, so I'll have a protein shake, which just consists of almond milk, stevia, which is a little uh, sugar substitute, uh, ice and protein powder. I'll just put that in a little individual ninja and have that while I'm cooking my food. I will usually have some sort of fruit, banana, apple, strawberries, the little cuties. Add a protein, um, eggs, bacon, turkey sausage, or I'll have some sort of carb. It'll be like, go-to is either oatmeal with peanut butter. Oh my God, so good. If you haven't tried it, put peanut butter in your oatmeal. You'll thank me later. Um, or I'll have Ezekiel bread with natural peanut butter. Those are my main things I go to. I don't eat all of that after my workout, but normally it's something along those lines. I'll have a protein, a carb, and a fruit. So another non-WWE question. What is the airspeed velocity of an unladen swallow? 
You're asking me? You're asking me? Google it. I don't know. So this has kind of been another common sort of wrestling, not wrestling related question. A lot of people have been asking what happened with me and Tracy or aka Smiley's podcast. Now, um, I want to start off by saying that I have no ill feelings towards her. Um, she's great. She likes a lot of my stuff. She'll, she supports me still. So shout out to you, Tracy or Smiley. I really don't know what to call you. Um, but yeah, uh, she's really cool. Um, it's not that we didn't get along or she and I like hate each other now. Um, not nothing like that at all. Um, I really wanted to take time to focus on my YouTube channel and building my career as far as trying to get into commentary. And I think I needed to, I think I, just doing a podcast and my YouTube channel way too much work um i can't i couldn't do both and i told her this and i'm gonna and she this is gonna be all out here now um it's not personal it was just i needed to do what was best for me that's all i that's all i can say um i just i couldn't do both i couldn't do my channel and i couldn't do a podcast at the same time so um nothing against her no no ill feelings she's really cool um, she goes to a lot of wrestling events like I do, which is super weird because I've never ran into her. Because she's down here in Florida and I'm up here in Wisconsin. So that kind of makes it hard to see each other. But one day, maybe we'll end up like at an AEW event and we'll get a vlog going. But until then, um, you can follow her at SmileyBabyBoo. I hope I said that right. Um, I'll leave her name down below as well. This was another question that I got asked a lot. So if I was a wrestler, which, oh my gosh, I wish so much, but what would be my ring name? And I've had this actually down for a while. It's my 2K whatever, 2K19, 2K18 character's name. A friend who we used to like just talk about wrestling all the time. And we always talked about like what our ring names would be and all this other stuff. If I was a wrestler, my character's name would be Taylor Jade, easily. Um, I just like the way it sounds, it sounds badass. Finisher, submission, and signature. Um, I really like the grappling and aggressive style of wrestling. I've always been drawn to it, so I feel like my f signature and slash submission would be something with a submission hold. I don't know what. I really like doing the arm bar, but like Becky does it. Rhonda does it. Like, I just, I don't want to be like everyone else, you know? Alright, swinging back into wrestling. So, who are my favorite Raw and SD Live and NXT superstars? Um, I'm gonna start with NXT, because I feel like NXT is like, even though it's like down here, like as far as like competitive levels go, I feel like quality, it's way above Raw and SmackDown. Aleister Black is one of my favorites. I uh, Velveteen Dream, obviously. Smackdown Live. Oh my goodness. Isles, for obvious reasons. I guess Becky would still be considered on Smackdown. So Becky, for sure. As far as Raw, Dean Ambrose, Seth Rollins, Finn Balor, uh, Kevin Owens, Sami Zayn, if that's where they go. Alexa is one of my favorites. Becky, I like Ronda. Is what are my top three feuds in WWE of all time? Oh my gosh. I would go with Lita and Trish Stratus easily. Uh, anything with Eddie Guerrero, I love Eddie Guerrero's stuff, so he, any feud he was in I was really interested in. Re Again, I'm biased, but <laughs> Dean and Seth, I really love the chemistry they have in the ring together. Like their early stuff after Seth turned the heel on the shield, those, that type, those types of promos and matches, they were just so good and so raw and just, they're amazing. I was asked what my thoughts are in AEW. What I think is cool that AEW is doing is they're bringing in a lot of unknowns for a lot of people. Like I know a lot of the girls, like not personally, but I've heard of a lot of the girls that sign with AEW and I see a lot of people complaining. Like I think it's good that they're signing no name, like not big names because that gives these girls a chance to build a platform and really develop into a character. As far as like Chris Jericho and Kenny Omega goes, I think that's really cool. 
can bring different styles and backgrounds into the professional wrestling business, especially in AEW. I think it would be cool to have like an invasion angle from AEW and WWE and kind of just collide like that. I don't think Cody would do it, honestly. I think they've burned bridges with a lot of these guys that are going to AEW, so I don't think that would happen, but I think it would be really cool to see. Non-WWE questions, which I love. Not that I don't love wrestling and WWE and AEW and all that stuff, but it's really cool to get non-wrestling questions from you guys because then you can get to go know me on a better level, I can get to know you, you can tell me your feedback. Next question is what are my favorite kind of TV shows? Um, lately, all I really watch is South Park. Those are really the only three I watch. I don't watch a lot of TV, but... And finally, the last question. I really enjoyed answering your questions, guys, and I appreciate anyone who left a question for me. It really means a lot to me. If I could have any superpower, what would it be? I'd probably say invisibility, just because I think it would be cool to... You could do a lot of cool things for people, like cool, like you could do a lot of nice things for people without like them knowing who did it, but you you get that reward of knowing you did something good, and at the same time they're walking away feeling good too. So I feel like I would use invisibility for that as well. So that's it. That's the end of my Q and A video. Thank you again so much to everyone who's ever subscribed or liked one of my videos. It means the absolute world to me, and hopefully. I can do this again when we reach a thousand. I mean, it's crazy to think that I'm already almost to 600. Ah, I'm just so grateful and thankful for you guys that, and there's nothing I would change about this journey and I'm glad you're sticking with me and there's gonna be a lot more fun stuff coming up in the next couple of months, like I said, WrestleMania. So that concludes this video and thank you. Thank you all so much for everything you do for my channel, all the shout outs, all the subs, all the retweets. I will see you guys next time on my channel.